Welcome back. In the last lesson, we took um, example seven, where we're able to establish the ratio of the final volume to the initial volume in that particular gas law question. Now we are going straight to the eighth example, and this is extracted from JAM 2001. I read, a gas with initial volume of two exponent minus six, that is V1 will give you two times 10 raised to the power of minus six cubic meter, is allowed to expand to six times its original volume. V2 will now give you 6 times 2 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6 because the rate of expansion is 6 times the initial volume. And that gives you what? 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5 meters cube. Okay? At constant pressure of 2 times 10 raised to the power of 5 newton, the pressure we give you 2 times 10 raised to the power of 5 newton per meter square, right? The work done. Now, in the last example we took, we were able to establish um, the work done there, right? When we plotted a graph of volume against the reciprocal of the um, pressure, and therefore the work done we give you volume times, or sorry, volume divided by the reciprocal of the pressure, which is still the same thing as volume times pressure. And your work will give you pressure multiplied by volume. That means the pressure, which is 2 times 10 raised to the power of 5, we multiply the change in volume, which is 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5, minus 2 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6. And that gives you 2 times 10 raised to the power of 5 multiplied by 1.2 exponent 5 minus 2. Sorry, this is mine. Okay. 1.2 exponent minus 5. Then minus 2 exponent minus 6. And that gives you 1 times 10 raised to the power of um, minus 5. And at the end of the day, if you multiply it by 2 exponent 5, the answer you arrive at is 2 joules. Therefore, the work done here is 2 joules. I hope that is clear. So 1.22, that's 12 minus 2, that's 10 exponent minus 5. Wait, let me confirm that. 1.2 exponent minus 5 minus 2 exponent minus 6. Okay, that's 1 exponent minus 5. And um, you get your answer as 2 joules. So that is the answer to jump 2001. Now go to the next question, jam 1982. The equation PA, VB, and TC is equal to constant, reduces to Boyce law. Now from Boyce law, we are made to understand that PV equals to the constant. Definitely we have P1, V1, C0 equals to PA, VB, and TC. From there, the value of A equals to 1, B equals to 1, and C equals to 0. So that gives you the solution to example 9, which um, was extracted from JAM 1982. Now let's go to the 10th example, which is example 10, and that is JAM 1985. A quantity of gas occupies a certain volume when the temperature is minus 273 degrees Celsius. The first thing you need to do is volume 1, which is the volume occupied, equals to V. C1 will give you minus 273, sorry, plus 273 minus 73, because we are converting to Kelvin. And that gives you 200 Kelvin. And the pressure, that's P1, is 1.5 atmosphere. 
okay if the pressure is increased to 4.5 atmosphere p2 gives you 4.5 atmosphere okay and the volume is aft at the same time so v2 we give you v over 2 or that's v1 over 2 which is v over 2 because v1 is v right um what would be the new temperature of the gas using the general gas equation p1 v1 over t1 will be equals to p2 v2 over t2 now let's start um substitution we have 1.5 times v1 is v over t1 which is 200 we give you p2 which is 4.5 times v2 which is v over 2 everything over t2 you can write it that way right therefore you cross multiply we have 200 times 4.5 times v we give you 1.5 times v times 2 then times t2 right now v cancels v here then we have 200 times 4.5 will be equals to 1.5 times 2 gives you 3t2 so that our t2 will now be equal to um 200 times 4.5 divided by 3 over 3. 3 here 1, 3 here will give you 1.5. Now 200 times 1.5 will now give you 300 Kelvin, right? Are we there now? So So the answer is 300 Kelvin. If you want to convert to degree Celsius, it's not going to give you 300 minus 273, right? And that gives you 27 degrees Celsius. So your answer is either 27 degrees Celsius or 300 Kelvin, depending on the unit you are given in the Hofschatz laws. Thank you for your time. See you in the next class when we shall be taking the next topic and bye for now. Thank you.